In terms of presidential memorabilia, this is practically the best. You know, I'll take 80 grand for it. What the f is this? <laughs> Not to be disrespectful or anything, I just, I don't know anything about this stuff. This is called a totem. You're like a totem pole? Like a energy totem. It's a spiritual totem. It's used for personal growth. I actually bought it from a medicine woman who I believe is Paiute. Okay. I'll be honest, when it comes to spiritual stuff, I'm not exactly the guy people come to. I have to have someone look at it and tell me what it's worth. Well, it's made by a medicine woman. Okay. This is what I called you about. Wow, I'm impressed. Wow. I got it from a medicine woman. Normally, I would meet with Christine alone on things like this, but I don't know if I want to be alone with this totem. It gives me the creeps. <laughs> this is really a complex sculpture. You have different elements created by a medicine person specifically for healing property. The feathers are like antennas. They reach out to you, the owner, wherever you are, give you information, take in information. So I'm really excited to see this, and I'm surprised to see this. This is unique. So how much would this thing be worth? I would estimate around $400. Okay, well thanks. Thank you. I really appreciate it after what everything Christina told me about it, but I just don't have the clientele for it. But there's love and, and spiritual energy in this piece. And I can appreciate that, but there's just no way I can make money off that. It was nice meeting you. I mean, I got a real education here. What can you tell me about them? I don't really know a whole lot. Um, you know, they've just been sitting in my closet. Probably from a pirate ship. No, these are from a gun maker out of Liverpool, England. This is a match set. This is a dueling set. Back in the good old days when you had a heated disagreement with someone, you settled it with a duel. They had matching guns so that one person didn't have an advantage of a better gun. But if you were a bad shot, you'd be better off apologizing than getting your head blown off. Now, everything looks 100% right to me, except that I don't see no markings on the barrel where they've been, they were tested by the government back in that day. I got a guy that specializes in these. Before I do anything with him, I want him to look at them. Okay. Now, you're concerned about there being a lack of proof marks. Mm -hmm. This type of gun, when you push this pin out, okay, so this barrel lifts right out of there. Okay. So they put the proof marks on the bottom. And this name, Stubbs, was most likely the barrel maker. Okay. So they are definitely real, and this would date between 1790 and about 1820. Now, the big question, value. I mean, gosh, you got everything here. It's the original interior, the original trade label, and that's what really makes it about case set guns, especially of this period. Um, I would say, 5,500 to maybe 15,000. Wow. So what do you want from guy? Well, from what he's saying, I mean, could I get 5,000? No, because that's probably what I'm going to end up getting. Guy, if you want it, you got three grand. That way, I can make mine and I'd feel comfortable about it. How about 3,500? How about 2,500? You're going the wrong way. No. You go up, I go down. I'll right. go 32.50. I'll split it with you. That's the best I'm gonna go. That sounds fair enough. You got a deal. Hey, so what's up? I'm interested in your cigar box. Okay. Well, I've got some extra money laid back, looking for something of historical significance. That was John F. Kennedy's. He sat on his desk in the Oval Office. Um, this is the one he put the cheap cigars in. <laughs> but this is the one that actually sat on his desk. I got letters and they inventoried the thing, paperwork up at the Gazoo. It's Once the in a lifetime piece. It, it really is. In terms of presidential memorabilia, this is practically the best. I mean, there will never be any more cigar boxes owned by JFK. And this is the only cigar box he placed on the Oval Office desk. And that's why it's valuable. It's a one of a kind, just like me. <laughs> what are we yeah. talking price-wise here? I mean, you know, I'll take 80 grand for it. I mean, 80. 
eighty thousand. I was thinking more like sixty thousand. Um, no, because I would lose money at that. His personal cigar box went for, I think, half a million dollars, and this is his other one. Give me eighty grand for it. That's quite a bit of money. It's a pretty amazing piece of history, though. Well, what about seventy? Um. Uh, can you give me like 78? 72.5? 75 is what I could take, it really is. It's 75, it's a fair price. Uh, and honestly, I'm not gonna go any less. 75. 75, write them up. Oh, nice. Got a deal, boss. Honestly, it was pretty cool having JFK's cigar box in the shop. And I'm a little sad letting it go. Luckily, I made $15,000 off this one deal to help me get through this difficult time. 